I'm the Troop Jackson here at Legion Sports Training Complex. I'm here with the owner, Mr. Bobby Harrison. How you doing this afternoon? Great. How are you, Mike? Man, I'm hot in this Houston heat, man. We like it this way. This is how you lose weight, get in shape. Well, right? and here's the thing. So, you know, I'm training. Sometimes we get some people coming to the gym, and they're like, ooh, it's too hot. And I'm like, it's a gym. Like, it's not a, a, not a day spa. Like, we, we need it hot. I like a nice little sauna. Uh, but we're here this afternoon. Uh, we're looking at some fighters. You have an upcoming card, your, your, your debut card, yes, uh, the, the Pro Explosion out, um, and the Woodlands. Yes. Uh, how did you get into, into the, promote, the boxing promotion business? That's a, a long story that's happened over a short period of time. Um, I'm in the club business. A lot of my bouncers are MMA fighters. Um, their gym that they were training at, most of them, shut down. Um, this, this building came available. I know the landlords. It was empty. So I'll, put a, I'll throw some mats in here in a cage, let them train, just give them a place to train because they need a place to train. They're friends of mine. Uh, we did that. And then uh, Reggie Harrison is a, a 2-0 boxer was looking for a home. Uh, he had, he had, some of my guys knew him, and we put a ring in here for him, and, he, and his trainer at the time was Reggie Johnson, and three-time world champion Reggie Johnson. Sound of, to Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> three-time world champion, one of the greatest boxers of our generation. And I'm a boxing fan, I grew up a boxing fan. Okay. I'm a huge Roy Jones Jr. fan. And I had seen Reggie, although Roy was my favorite fighter, Reggie was the, the one guy who went the distance with him in the 90s, in his prime. So I was a little bit fanboy when I met him. I was like, oh, oh man, Reggie Johnson. So, and he said to me, I'm, look, I'm also looking for a place to train some fighters to get into training, kind of transition away from fighting into training. Um, so we kind of worked out a deal where he came over here and we slowly but surely became less, less of an MMA gym and more of a boxing gym. And when people found out Reggie was here, both the Reggies, Reggie Harrison, the boxer, and Reggie Johnson, now the trainer slash boxer, um, a lot of professional fighters started gravitating this way. A lot of uh, really accomplished uh, amateur fighters, Golden Glove fighters like Roscoe Hills, uh, whose dad trained George Foreman and those guys, they started gravitating this way. Before you know it, we were full of boxers, professional boxers, up and coming boxers, soon to be stars. And I, you know, I'm, I'm in heaven now because I, I grew up a boxer fan. I, I grew up so this day, as long as I remember, I was watching boxing with my dad, my grandfather. So, you know, one day one of these guys came up to me and said, would you be interested in managing me? So I never, I said, I'm never really giving any thought. You know, I don't know. I've never thought about being a boxing manager. I slept on it. I said, I'm honored. You know, I'll give it my best shot. I'll try the best I can to manage you. Um, took that particular fighter who was Reggie Harrison to Arizona, took him to Dallas, took him to Beaumont. Uh, he won all over the place. Uh, but it got to be a, an expensive proposition, especially when other guys started seeing, you know, I guess, knock on wood, I was doing a decent job for Reggie. They wanted to join the team. So got to be an expensive proposition carrying these guys all over the country to fight in fights. So you know what? Probably a lot of managers have made this jump. So, you know, let's have our own show and we'll fight at home. And then their family and friends can come watch them fight in Houston rather than going over to Arizona and having to beat up people. We yeah, can beat you, up people right here. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of the fighters, man. Um, Houston, some, especially in the boxing side, uh, you don't have a lot of promotions out here. You have one strong promotion, uh, but that's about it. You have some other guys that kind of dabble a little bit, and for whatever reason, you know, it flames out. Uh, but it seems like you have some good back backing behind you and a lot of support, and we want you to have a, a successful promotion here in Houston. So for you, 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 obviously you have the guys here that don't get a chance to often to fight at home. Was that the, the main driving force behind you having something in Houston? Absolutely. Um, we fought in Beaumont and we had a lot of people from Houston come over to the watch our guys fight in Beaumont. And, and, it, and it was at that point, it's kind of an epiphany for me. I said, you know, if all these people are going to come from Beaumont and Palestine to watch guys like Reggie Harrison fight, you know, why don't we just do it in Houston and we'll try to fill up our own venue? Yeah, Beaumont's not that old. Like, like earlier, it was a guy from, yeah, hour and a half, you know, yeah. something like, quick, you know, maybe 45 minutes for some of us. That drive. <laughs> not me. Don't, don't look for me on the, on the road. Uh, so you're having your first show. It's in, in the Woodlands. Uh, how did you secure the or What was the reason for securing that venue? Actually, they, they reached out to us. I live in the Woodlands. I've been to Legend Sports Complex. Uh, it's a fine facility. I think it's the biggest, one of the biggest gyms, if not the biggest gym in Texas. I forget what they told me. Um, they reached out to us. They had had a boxing gym there before. They have some amateur shows there. They wanted professional boxing there. Uh, a, guy, a guy that knows a guy that I know kind of thing had them reach out to me. So we put that deal together. Um, it's a beautiful venue. We're hoping to pack it. Um, I think we're hoping to put a couple of thousand people in there. Follow us, but we have two thousand seats there. Hopefully, fill them up. Yeah. But <laughs> I've been there. Uh, I've been there for uh, what is that? Professional MMA, not too uh, 
few years, several years ago, um, and then I, I go there every year for some from some amateur fights. So it's definitely a, a great venue to to watch some fights, especially with the with the elevated ring and things like that. Uh, so you, you're expecting to fill. You have 2,000 seats. Um, you're expecting to fill that, especially with a lot of local fighters um, being able to sell tickets to their family and friends. What's next after the the first show? Well, we you talked a little, you spoke a little bit about us trying to differentiate ourselves between some of the people who come before us. Not to say there, I don't even know most of those guys. Not say they did a bad job, but we want to try to take it to the next level, if at all possible. This week, we secured a deal with Mega TV, Spanish speaking station, Channel 55. We're gonna they're gonna show our show on a 20, all of our boxing shows on a 24 hour tape delay basis. Um, and then we also picked up said so things move fast. We picked up a boxing show every Thursday night at 10:30 on on Mega TV. So. We're hoping that by getting our guys exposure and, and getting Houston exposed to the things that we're doing, our fighters hopefully will not only build a fan base for our show, but we can some of our fighters can start picking up fans and people can start following them by way of both coming to the shows and seeing them on TV on Channel 55, uh, that type of thing. We're hoping we will, we're eventually want to do a show hopefully in October. We have a date in, in Beaumont for October. After that, uh, we want to go either December or January to Austin. And then do the triangle, Houston. No, no Beaumont, I, Austin. I'm, I'm putting my name in the hat. I want an Austin car. We got I, you, man. We got yes, you. I need to. <laughs> You're there. Fucking, <laughs> this the cuss, baby. This is the cuss. That's easy. <laughs> See, that's what I, I know like. people. <laughs> my man. <laughs> Well, I mean, it, was, it was great talking to you, finally meeting you. All right, nice uh, to meet you. See the faces the in there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Good to meet you. Love the facility here. This is a great Thank gym. You. Thank you. I might come get some rounds in one of these Come Saturdays. On. Every Just, Saturday, man. We're sparring every Saturday. To, every Saturday? Every Saturday, sparring. Anybody's welcome. <laughs> Sign the waiver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely important. <laughs> Sign that waiver. Hey.